Uh, what about, I mean, do you think your students develop some skills when you teach with STEM SOS model? I mean, like 21st century skills? Or well, the, or the, skills they the need way that we apply this, skills? of course they do because they have to know how to use computer. They need to know how to use uh, technology. First, they are taking videos and they need to edit those videos. And they need to edit their website, which is not an easy thing. There are a lot of people in the United States right now that they, they, they can't even like uh, create a Gmail account. But those kids are creating a Gmail account, they're creating a website, they're uh, changing everything about their websites, and everything belongs to them. So they are designing a website. Like, this is one thing, and it is also explaining, uh, developing their uh, presentation skills. Because that's not an easy thing. So this, uh, for example, the website part is just one part. Uh, but we are going to and participate into a lot of different STEM activities, like real life activities, STEM expos. So they are presenting their projects to the visitors. So they are presenting and they're explaining everything to the people. Excellent. And over there, you don't only have like educators or like you don't only have like high school kids. Sometimes they're like five years old kids. They're asking what like what's going on. And they're like 70 years old, like seniors. They are also asking what's going on. And they are not only talking to the students, they are talking to educators or like they are talking to someone uh, who has no idea about the project. And whenever you, they, uh, they do this again and again, you're seeing that you're realizing that they are changing the way the explanation depending on the visitor. If it's a kid, they are trying to simplify it. If it's a senior, or like if it's someone who knows the subject and then they are trying to try uh, explain it more in detail and more advanced. So it is really uh, increasing their presentation skill. And for me, that's a very, very important skill in a college and a, a society. What about the model? Uh, do you think it prepares your students for the standardized testing? I think of you're not tested to, you're going to be tested Well, last year, year uh, my AP score... I always use my uh, demonstration. It doesn't matter if it's an AP course or if it's a regular course. So, and actually that was one of the problem, not a problem, but critique that I was getting. They were like, oh, you're just playing with the toys. How are they going to learn? I definitely disagree with this because if that was true, I'm using those toys in my AP classes and in my regular class and pre-AP classes. And last year, my pre-AP kids took essay. Um, Star testing from physics and hundred percent passing rate, and last year's thanks. Uh, my AP kids, I had eight kids, and seven of them pass. And this year, from again AP, um, I had twelve kids, and eleven of them passed. So that shows that it kind you're of you're not just playing. Yeah, if you're not just playing with the toys, they are actually learning, learning something from <laughs> those uh, toys. Good thing. What about? Classroom management. Do you have any classroom management issue? To be honest, so far, I n not never, but a few cases like about uh, classroom management. Because what I've learned, what I've seen, like I said, whenever you have like teacher communication well, then t uh, students talk about their experiences to you about like sometimes other teachers, and I do not t uh, let them use any teacher name. But they are uh, talking about what they have in classes and what it really gets them bored. So uh, whenever they talk about those stuff, they are saying that we don't do anything. So whenever they don't do anything, whenever they do not wonder anything, whenever they see that they do not learn something in class, then they are more likely to Cause make a problem. So, so but you are basically classes, saying... Because of STEM SOS, you don't experience that type of thing. I can definitely say that because every class they that I have, they are wondering what's going to happen. What is this uh, crazy guy is going to do? So they are always wondering what's going to happen because they're always going to see something new. They're always going to see a misconception in the class. So that is uh, keeping them quiet and try to get them like they're trying to learn. They're not trying to cause a problem because they learn they're actively learning they are not just passive and sure, like sure. Uh, like, just okay when is this going to end they are always on task they are all engaged yes. so they have something to learn something to do 
something to succeed. What about, how do you describe your classroom climate then? Then, of course, what do you expect like from that kind of uh, classroom? It's always like fun. They always uh, ask questions and sometimes they're not making fun, but uh, whenever I ask a question to a student, he's trying to explain it or like, she's trying to explain it. And whenever they or uh, can't explain it well, the other is making another comment. Oh, that's not how it works. That how it works. Remember from the other demonstration, he showed it, showed it like like that. So they are always like a friend, and they are always trying to fix their mistakes, and they are trying to teach each other. Then, because of your kind of positive classroom climate, so they are not afraid of asking questions no, or no, no, not no, making no. comments over others. Answers. Yes, definitely. That they are free to talk and they are not scared. Sometimes, of course, like not every single student do that. Of course, to be honest, like in real life, everybody's not uh, like that confident. But most of my students, especially like this year's AP course right now that I have, I have sixteen students over there, and I never had a class like that before. And like this year is uh, the best one. Because everybody is asking questions and everybody's making comments about the demonstrations and everybody is really, really comfortable in class and everybody's laughing, but that doesn't mean that we are not doing anything. Of course, <laughs> we are learning, but this is really comfortable environment, environment for them to learn. So, and hopefully at the end of the year, we're going to see how well we were doing. Hopefully. We're going to see...